Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the top 40 cryptocurrencies by market cap. We're going to start with Hedera, Hashgraph at number 31, followed by Filecoin, Internet Computer, Kronos, LiroDAO, Maker, Quant, Aptos, VeChain, and then we'll end it with Optimism at number 40. Let's get straight into it. Hbar against BDC. Hmm, I like what I see. I think we're completing a very big A, B, C, D, A, B, C. Mm -hmm. uh, what, uh, let's, again, we're not entirely sure how much lower we're going to go, but I suspect we're going to take out these lows. Right. Um, you can't count this. Uh, wait. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. This whole thing is a complete one wave down. Two. Uh, okay. No, I think. <laughs> okay. It's a bit subjective at this point of time. But the point being is that, um, yeah, I think we're going to drop a little bit lower. Probably around 130. We're 165 right now, so yeah, a little bit more downside to go. We're already quite oversold, uh, and we are aware that there are divergences, bullish divergences everywhere. Uh, and we were saying that you know when this week happened, way way back uh, in May 22, we were saying that very likely we will take out these lows, and we did take out these lows. I also think that these lows are going to be taken out for HBAR BDC. So I think HBAR BDC is going to drop just a little bit lower first uh, to about sub 130, I think. And after that, yeah, we'll see a very nice potential breakout for HBAR. But it's not going to be so soon, though. It's probably going to come around December 2024. Yeah, maybe one more year. Again, I, I can't say for sure. By the next month or the next few months, you might see reversals happening, right? But at this point of time, yeah, nope. We're not going to be rushing uh, into anything for there are hash graph until we see clear reversals. HBAR USD doesn't look good, right? Because this is a... Head and shoulders, right? I mean, but of course, you know, we could just zip a little bit uh, before heading back higher, or we could already be making preparations to break out from here, right? This whole thing could be a ABCD in the making, right? This whole thing could already be a C in the uh, the S already completed, right? We could still drop a little bit lower, take out these lows, and complete the C, right? Or we could already start reversing back up from here. Again, we're not entirely sure. We don't really like what we see on H bar at this point of time. Sure, uh, if buying pressure comes in to push the price higher, right, and we get something more obvious of a bullish reversal, then sure, we'll take a trade towards the long side. But for now, we remain bias bearish for H bar USD. Filecoin against BDC. Here we are for Filecoin. So for Filecoin, we continue dropping lower. Hey, yo, bro, what's happening? What's happening? Yeah, this is a coin that Arthur Hayes uh, has investment in. I remember in his interview with Tom Bilu, he was saying he was holding three coins. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Filecoin. So, oh, that's very interesting. So anyway, Filecoin is uh, in a downer. I think it's probably bleeding in Filecoin, uh, but doesn't look like it's coming up anytime yet, right? Uh, we are aware of the potential though, right? Looking at the Filecoin USD. I feel like this could be an ABCDE, right? And then we break higher. Potentially, potentially, right? This whole thing could already be the A, this sort thing of will be a C. Again, we're not entirely sure though. We would love to see buying pressure. We would love to see something like this, right? Coming for Filecoin, but we just don't see it yet. So it's very difficult for us to make a call uh, towards the long side, right? Uh, even this in itself could start turning bullish though. Again, we're not entirely sure. We don't see any clear bullish reversals. So we'll take things one step at a time for Filecoin. ICP against BTC. Here we are for internet computer. Internet computer has hit target one, and we are about to hit target number two at 1,000. We're at 1067, so just a little bit more for ICP. Hopefully, after we hit the second target, we could see some sort of a bullish reversal. Hopefully, but uh, again, I'm not going to get my hopes uh, too high up because I suspect that uh, internet computer could still uh, continue dropping lower because it's still under the skinny pink line. So as long as it's still under the skinny pink line, we respect the bearish trend for ICP because ICP has been down uh, since the very beginning, I think. Uh, let me just go to ICP. Uh, where's this? BDC. Right, if you look at ICP, BDC, ever since, um, where's this? 2021, it's all down. <coughs> there are no signs of life at all. So, yeah, we respect the skinny pink line. <laughs> Uh, against the USD pair, yes sir. Let's take a look. ICP USD, here we are. We've hit both targets. So maybe this could be the reversal coming in. Maybe, maybe. Again, we're not entirely sure uh, because this thing could also turn 
bearish, right? We could still get mountain ranges and still head lower. Uh, we're already sub $3. The very beginning, I don't know, it's the, okay, let me just check out the highs of internet computer against USD. The very all-time high was 547 down to $54, down to $5.40. It's like 90% of another 90%. And if we go to 59 cents, it's like 90% of the 90% of the 90%. So it's just down, 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 which means that uh, internet computer is overvalued, super duper overvalued. And the market is trying to find the fair value price of internet computer, right? $500 is definitely overvalued. So yeah, anyway, point being, I don't think it's time yet. Um, not for me though. So yeah, there you go. Kronos, CRO BDC. Here we are for Kronos. Uh, we look at it on KuCoin. Kronos, oh my God. Please do not take out these lows, Mr. Wales of Kronos. Hopefully we maintain a very nice squeeze over here, right? And then we see a real true big giga breakout for Kronos, right? That's the hope, but yeah, again, we're not entirely sure, right? We're still under the skinny pink line. So trend is still uber bearish for Kronos BDC. Against USD, yeah, we've already, we've already broken uh, the resistance, but we're coming back down under the uh, support resistance. So are we going to take out the lows over here first before seeing some sort of a potential reversal? Yes, no? Not entirely sure, but it's, it's just not really looking that good. So mm, be very careful about rushing to a trade for Kronos. LDO against BTC. Uh, yeah, we have a big target here. 3790, LDO is in deep, 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 deep trouble. I don't know what trouble it is, but it's in deep, deep trouble. 27% uh, towards the downside. Much more downside. We are already under the skinny pink line, and we remain with our bearish bias for LDO BDC because this is a head and shoulders. And head and shoulders are gigantic bearish reversals, right? This is a gigantic one. So it's a gigantic bearish reversal, reversal for LDO BDC. So more downside uh, for LDO, BTC. LDO against USD, uh, more downside as well, right? You can see mountains, zip down, mountains, zip down, mountains again. What do you think is going to happen? Zip down, right? So we have a target fresh, freshly baked out of the oven for you at $1.20. So more downside for LDO. It's just not looking good. And it would make sense because for LDO, BTC, we have uh, big, big downsides, right? Uh, and so I think the USD pair would also be dropping lower. I think more likely than not, we're going to take out these two lows eventually for LDO, right? But from a bullish perspective, right? This is something of a falling channel and we are in a very controlled fall, which means that any time uh, when the bull run comes, LDO could just start flipping bullish. You see that? So again, we're not entirely sure though, but uh, things are still pretty bearish for LDO USD at this point of time. So I'd be very careful about rushing into anything for LDO. Maker, okay, Maker is the outlier. <laughs> the outlier of all outliers uh, and Maker is about to complete a wave E, right? We're gonna consolidate here a little bit, complete a big gigantic A, B, C, D, E. Boom, big breakout. Mm, Maker looks good. It looks really, 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 really good. Uh, I suspect we may drop a little bit lower first. I don't think this is it though. I think there's still a little bit more downside to go. Maybe another 20%. Again, I can't say for sure. Now, there are no clear uh, bearish chart patterns <laughs> giving us any targets. So if I had to guess, right? If I had to guess, probably sweeping up these lows first. All right, so around four cents, somewhere around four cents. Right now at 4.9 cents, maybe 4.1 cents, 4 cents, maybe a little bit beyond it. Yeah, so it's not looking good. It's not looking good uh, yet, right? Uh, for an entry, for an entry. But uh, the big, big, big uh, technical perspective for Maker Bitcoin is still solid. Absolute solidity. Maker against USD. Hmm, we still have a target over here, 1008. So we had a very beautiful squeeze breakout. We actually broke out here, retrace. This is what you call a second chance entry. Boom, we're out. Retrace. Boom, we're out again. So 1008 for Maker. We're not done yet. 1388. So a little bit more upside for Maker USD. Hmm, strong. So strong. Quant against BDC. Here we are for Quant. Uh, okay, Quant is. Uh, <laughs> we were saying we'll, we'll probably take a, 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 a. hit the brakes around this area. Uh, we could still drop a little bit lower, but maybe some sort of a rally. 
for quants, but uh, the quant BDC is not looking good. Not looking good under the skinny pink line. Once you cross, that's it. That's it. Bearish. Bearish quant against USD. Here we are for quants. $67. Yes, sir. More downside for quant. It's not looking good. Guantanamera. Another 22%. I need a quantum meter. So, yeah, we're 85 right now. Another $20, $20 more, right? So, yeah, it's just not looking good. Uh, there were clear signs of bearishness if you've been following me. We've been we've been uh, tracking quants for some time. And the moment uh, we saw the completion of the mountain range, we were like, okay, I think we are about to drop, right? Because we keep coming back down under the skinny pink line. We've been hitting the skinny pink line and then, yeah, that's it. We're down, 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 down. I need a Guantanamera. Aptos against BTC. Oh, yo, bro. Okay, if you look at Aptos against BTC, it's not looking good. Why? Because Aptos has already taken out these lows. Right. Could this be a leading indicator? If you look at Aptos against USD, we are still above the lows over here. You see that? Uh, we still have a target over here at 440. So, we'll probably drop a little bit more for Aptos. I mean, of course, I could be wrong. I could be... Going back up, but again, we're under the skinny pink line, which means that we're already in a bearish trend. So, yeah, and one thing I like about Aptos is that we're falling in a very controlled manner, right? When we rise, we rise very fast. When we, when we drop, we drop very slow, which is good. This is good. But again, how low are we going to drop? Are we going to go past $4? Are we going to take out these lows? Because for the BDC pair, Aptos has already taken out these lows. And there are no clear... Uh, chart patterns for us to trade from, right? And you can argue that this is a falling channel, but yeah, again, where's the bottom? Where's the bottom? Any targets? No, we don't have. V chain. What's up, Sunny Lu? V chain against BDC. Good. I think we're gonna take out these two lows, right? Ever since breaking the skinny pink line for real uh, in November two thousand two one, uh, V chain has been down, 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 down. Any clear signs of a reversal? Nope. So be very careful about rushing into a trade too soon for VeChain. Uh, okay, I like what I see here though. I think this whole thing could turn into a very big inverse hand shoulders. We thought this was already the completion left shoulder hit. We we're hoping to get a right shoulder here, right? But we didn't. We dropped. So yeah, again, how much lower are we going to drop? We don't know. We don't freaking know. Um, are we going to take out these two lows? We're not too sure. Nothing much for us to work with for VeChain. Up against BTC. Optimism. Yeah, I think we're going to take out these two lows. Optimism, we have a very, very big downside at 2008. We're at 4,001. So this is uh, almost 50%. Not 50%. 30%, sorry. <laughs> 4, 1 to 2, 7. Yeah, 30, 33% uh, to be precise. More towards the downside. Probably going to take out these two lows. So remain bias bearish for optimism. Against USD even crazier target here at 63 cents where the dollar 17 so this is uh, more than 33 this is 46 percent more right again just like what we did uh, for what was the coin quant yes sir quantum so for quant this is the mountain range right head and shoulders that we saw for optimism and yeah the target 63 cents so more downside to be expected for optimism Plus, we are already under the skinny pink line. So, the bearish trend is already on for optimism. And if, I, if I had to compare optimism to arbitrum, I think arbitrum is the stronger layer to compared to optimism. You see that? Anyway, anyway, point being that, um, yeah, I, I wish uh, optimism uh, success as well as arbitrum, but arbitrum is actually stronger <laughs> in terms of its technicals compared to uh, optimism. So anyway, anyway, the point is we have a target over here at 63 cents and we're expecting much more downside for optimism. So be careful about rushing to a trade too soon for optimism. I think, I think we're gonna hang around this area, right? We could even drop to sub 60 cents. We're very close to 60 cents. So probably sub 60 cents would be a much better buy, right? If you were considering uh, into optimism, but yeah, I don't think now is a good time. So be very, very careful by rushing to a trade too soon for optimism. All right, boys and girls, I guess that's it for today's top 40. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.